disc in his neck. His 24 home runs will be gone for the rest of this season. As will Randy Johnson and his Cy Young arm. Big Unit had surgery on his back on Thursday. We will see him again in 1997. Now, for years, mathematicians have tried to calculate how big a lead has to be before it is officially considered comfortable. But just when they figure it out, the Yankees come along and turn a certain divisional title into a nail-biting September. As Rich Eisen reports, the Yankees, Orioles, Dodgers, and Padres may be the last ones to know their postseason destiny. The answer to the age-old question, how the West was won, may not be available for another couple of weeks. A tight race in the NL West is a long-standing tradition. In 93, the Braves and Giants took it to the last game of the season. Same with the Dodgers and Rockies last year, and we could be destined for the same dramatic fate with the Dodgers and Padres in 1996. The Padres certainly showed their flair for the dramatic this week, winning in their last at-bat three times. About our animal friends, that's right. Some animals are endangered. That means that there aren't very many of them left on the Earth. And if we're not careful, they may be all gone someday. Oh, no. Which animals are endangered? I'll show you, Tina. Okay. Whales are endangered. Uh -huh. And elephants. And lions. And the rhinoceros. And gorillas. And sea turtles. And tigers. And even the bald eagle. And there aren't many panda bears left on Earth. Us to lose any animal friends, Barney. Even the ones in the meadow. <laughs> well, I know you all know the song called Over in the Meadow. Everybody pretend you're the animals in the song, okay? Oh, boy, froggies and fishies hopping and swimming everywhere. <laughs> Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croaks and the mother. How he works. And he says in this passage, the Lord of hosts is planned, who can frustrate it? His outstretched hand, who can turn it back? Listen to me. God, God is so in control of your life and my life. We don't have to worry about what, listen, we don't have to worry about what people do to us or circumstances. We belong to him. If we're listening to him and he sends these frustrations into our life, don't look to somebody to blame. Look to him and say, God, are you trying to say something to me? Do you want to change something about my thinking, my attitude, my actions, my habits? Do you want to change where I am, what I'm doing? Do you want to change my major? Do you want to change my occupation? Do you want to change my vocation? What are you doing, God? He loves that. You know what will happen? That frustration will turn to the most wonderful excitement that you know that God is up to something. Now, the two things. Sometimes it's a process, and the process sometimes is sort of prolonged. You thank God, what are you waiting for? Come on. 800-262-7486. 800-262-7486. Okay, here we go. Chicago Bears against the Minnesota Vikings. Bears are laying three and a half. Over under is 42. Frank, who do you like in this Viking-Bear matchup? Well, I tell you, I think the Vikings are on a roll right now. I love their running back, Robert Smith. I love their wideouts, Ishmael, Reed, Carter. Their quarterback, Johnson's on a roll. I like Minnesota to go into Chicago and beat them. Okay, it's a, that's, a, that's a big call. Minnesota over Chicago. Okay, Michael, who do you like here? Well, it's hard to believe the Vikes are off to a 2-0 start. First time since 87. These division rivals, no strangers to one another. A look at recent history shows the Bears with a series sweep last year. That stopped the Minnesota six-game winning streak here. But you know the Vikes <coughs> have won outright three of their last four trips into Soldier Field. I have a small play on the Vikings this weekend as well. Okay, Vikings, it is Kevin, the legend. How do you see it? Bears are going to blow them out, Stu. Uh, the Chicago Bears have won the, and covered the last three. And the Minnesota Vikings are a failure, a money loser on grass, and I think the Chicago Bears are just going to waste them. Okay, Bears it is, Duff. All right, folks, here we go. Six-year-old Nick Gass has a fantastic memory. Some call it photographic. So far, he's memorized every day of the week between 1993 and 1997. All right, Nick, February 9th, 1994. Wednesday. He's also memorized the characters in scores of movies and how long they last. The movie Jack? Uh-huh. It's with Robin Williams. How long is it? Two hours. Okay. 120 minutes. How long is Pocahontas? 84 minutes. <laughs> His mom says... I, you know, I really, I don't know how to explain it. He, he remembers everything. Nick's even in charge of her schedule. When our house last got sprayed for bugs, I'll ask him when, oh, anything. Appointments, I don't even have to write down. I just ask him what time it is. Andy's also memorized just about every license plate in the neighborhood. 
Nick, I've also been... Even if we wander away from him, he doesn't wander away from us. He knows us. He knows our strengths. He knows our weakness. He knows what our need is. And he knows that he values the relationship with us far too much to let us go on in our mere religion, going through the motions, without reminding us that what counts is our love. You know, and when you think about it, that love is not only important to our relationship with him, but it's important to a, to a watching world. They're not going to be much impressed by our religion. <laughs> they won't be much impressed by our good doctrine. Now, what will impress those around us is seeing in us a heart that values the one who saved us, the one who, who bought us for himself. Remember, therefore, from where you... My name is Rodrigo, and I live in the Philippines. My family and I are spending the afternoon at the park near our home. First, we like to take a look at the monkeys because they act so funny. Then we go to the playground. I like to go down the slide. My sister and I get on one end of the teeter-totter and my brothers get on the other end. We go up and down. All that exercise makes us hungry, so my sister peels a guapo for us. It's called a guapo because it's part apple and part guava. Yes, sir. Isn't it nice when fairy tales come true? Watch Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, and Dolly Parton in 9 to 5, today at noon on TNT. Scores, highlights, interviews, fantasy football facts. Don't miss Pro Football Tonight, Sundays at 7, before the NFL on TNT. P.K. Hallinan has sold over 3 million books that teach children values for life. And now a new P.K. Hallinan collection can be yours for just $19.95, a fraction of the usual price. In I'm Thankful Each Day, your children will learn how to say thanks for all their blessings. My first day of school recalls that once-in-a-lifetime day. Just Open a Book celebrates the lasting rewards of reading. How Do I Love You is a tender love poem from you to your child. And A Rainbow of Friends helps children see friendship in everyone. Call this number now to place your order for all five books for the special offer price of just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. But wait, there's more. The first 50... On the outside of that. And then you take your tube, and I'm going to lay this one down. Then you might want to get real fancy and decorate the outside, but you don't have to. You take a straight pin and essentially just pin it down. I've just pushed it down into the side of that tube. It's just a straight pin. And then you look into it, and you kaleidoscope. Nothing to it. Great rainy day project. It really is. Ooh, it's neat, Mark. We are out of time for today, folks. Thanks for joining us. See you on the next Start to Finish. Bye-bye, everybody. Wonderful job. Once again, we've run out of time. We'll see you again next time.